Are you looking for a way to make your smoothies more blood sugar friendly? Because let's face it, most smoothies that people are drinking cause a huge spike in blood sugar. And this is a problem not only because that spike is going to be followed up with a crash in our energy and mood, but also because frequent spikes like this can make it difficult to lose weight, they can impair our sleep quality, and they can contribute to insulin resistance. But here's the thing. There are ingredients you can add to your smoothie to make it more blood sugar friendly with less of a spike, leading to stable energy, a better mood, fewer cravings, and better weight loss results. So if you want to know what those five ingredients are, keep watching. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Kate. I'm a certified health and nutrition coach. I post videos here on YouTube twice a week talking all things insulin resistance, weight loss, sleep, and more. So if you're ready to take control of your metabolic health, make sure to click that subscribe button. And also make sure to follow me on TikTok and Instagram where I share new posts every single day. Now, before I get into it, I want to know what your go-to smoothie recipe is. So let me know in the comments down below and we can see if you're already adding some of the ingredients we're going to talk about today. Now, I touched on this a little bit at the start of the video, but before I get into the five ingredients, I quickly want to talk about why frequent blood sugar spikes are a problem and why they could be stopping you from reaching your goals. Have you ever had your energy crash an hour or two after eating? You can't focus, you're craving sugar. Maybe you're even experiencing brain fog and having trouble focusing. Or maybe you're even hangry. These are all signs of a blood sugar crash, which is the aftermath of a blood sugar spike. The more stable we can keep our blood sugar throughout the day, the more short-term and long-term benefits we're gonna experience. Frequent spikes are associated with an increased disease risk. They can contribute to insulin resistance and make weight loss difficult. And smoothies are one of the worst offenders when it comes to blood sugar spikes because of the amount of sugar they contain. And yes, sugar from fruit is still sugar. But there are ways to make smoothies more blood sugar friendly and that's what we're going to be talking about today. Now, besides the side effects that we already spoke about, how can you know if you're experiencing a blood sugar spike after your smoothie? One way is with Lumen which is a metabolic tracker that tells you in real time if you are burning mainly carbs or mainly fat for energy. A high lumen score after drinking a smoothie would indicate a spike in blood sugar, whereas a low lumen score would indicate there isn't a spike or there is a smaller one. And this is because when blood sugar is high, we're in carb burning mode. And when blood sugar is more stable, we're in fat burn mode. Lumen is super easy to use. All you have to do is follow the prompts and breathe into the device. I use my Lumen to test some of the ingredients we're gonna talk about in this video today, and I'll expand on that a little bit more as we go through the video. But in the meantime, if you wanna check out Lumen, I'm gonna put the link in the description box down below. But now let's get into the five ingredients you can add to your smoothie to make it more blood sugar friendly. Number one is full fat Greek yogurt. This is probably the easiest to incorporate in any smoothie because it's relatively neutral in taste. As mentioned earlier, the reason that smoothies can cause a big spike in blood sugar is because oftentimes they are just filled with fruit, which contains a lot of sugar and very little fat and protein. Most people will add a banana, berries, mango, other fruit, maybe some almond milk and then some ice and call it a day. The problem with not having any fat or protein in your smoothie is that when we consume carbs and sugar in isolation, they're absorbed more rapidly into the bloodstream, causing a bigger spike in blood sugar as it floods in more quickly. Now, if you add fat and protein to your smoothie, the blood sugar response is going to be a lot lower. And this is due to a few different mechanisms. One of which being that fat and protein cause the contents of the stomach to empty slower. So what this means is instead of all the sugar entering the bloodstream at once, it kind of trickles in slower. And this gives your body a chance to take some of that excess sugar and transport it to your cells before more sugar is added, resulting in a lower spike. 
And full fat, unsweetened Greek yogurt is a great source of both protein and fat. Just make sure to buy one that is unsweetened and not flavored because the flavored ones always have a lot of sugar added. And on top of that, they're usually made from skim milk, which means that a lot of the fat has been removed and we want the fat. <laughs> it's good for us. And then number two is coconut milk. Tinned coconut milk is another ingredient that can make your smoothie more blood sugar friendly. I am a huge fan of coconut anything. I absolutely love the taste and it's also great for smoothies because it's a fruit that is low in sugar and carbs and high in fat. I experimented with this using my Lumen. So one day I had a smoothie that was just strawberry and banana and didn't have any fat or protein added. The next day I had the same smoothie, but I added four tablespoons of coconut milk. The response to the first smoothie, when I took my Lumen reading afterwards, I scored a five, <laughs> which would indicate a big spike in blood sugar. But after the second smoothie, I scored a two, indicating I was in fat burning mode and the spike was far less significant. And this is all because of one small addition to the smoothie. Number three, avocado. This is one that some people love and some people hate. I know it sounds weird and you might think it tastes weird because it's avocado in a smoothie, but honestly, you can barely taste it when it's blended in and it also gives your smoothie a nice thick consistency. But beyond the taste and texture, you also get the benefits of it stabilizing your blood sugar because it is filled with healthy fat. Number four, coconut oil. This is another great option if you don't have coconut milk or yogurt on hand. Coconut oil is of course mainly fat, which helps to blunt the blood sugar response. But coconut oil has another added benefit, especially if your goals are relating to weight loss. Half of the fat in coconut oil is medium chain triglycerides or MCTs. And this is a type of fat that is only found in large quantities in a handful of foods, one of which being coconut oil. MCTs are a type of fat that is absorbed differently within the body. Most of the fat we consume is long chain triglycerides. But because medium chain triglycerides are shorter, they are more easily digested. And they can be used for energy faster than other types of fat. So they can give you an additional energy boost without the subsequent crash. And on top of that, they can help you stay in fat burning mode longer because they promote ketone production. And when ketones are up, blood sugar is lower. So all you have to do is add at least one tablespoon of coconut oil to your smoothie. And not only are you going to get the blood sugar stabilizing benefits, but you're going to get these other benefits as well. Number five, collagen powder. Collagen is a type of protein that is found in human and animal tissues. It is actually the most abundant protein in the human body, making up our muscles, our skin, our hair, our nails. As we age, our bodies produce less and less collagen. And this is the reason why our skin starts to wrinkle and our joints start to ache. And certain types of collagen have actually been shown to promote muscle growth as well. So for these reasons, I think that collagen powder is great to add to any smoothie. And also, of course, when it comes to blood sugar, because it is a protein and it is gonna help to lower that blood sugar response. So it's a win-win all around. Anyways, guys, that's all I have for you today. So to quickly recap the five ingredients, number one, Greek yogurt, number two, coconut milk, number three, avocado, number four, coconut oil, and number five, collagen powder. Let me know in the comment section down below if you add any of these ingredients to your smoothie. Do you notice a difference in your energy and your mood when you do versus when you don't? And before you click off this video, make sure to check out Lumen. The link is going to be in the description box down below. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you might also like my video on the 50 best foods for stable blood sugar. You can check it out here. If you want to catch up on my most recent upload, you can find it here. And if you want to check out my coaching programs, including my insulin resistance masterclass, you can find those here. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.